Εις το όνομα του Πατρός και του Υιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Your Eminence, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. In today's Gospel reading, my friends, we hear a very powerful scripture reading that relates to every single one of us. Now today's Gospel reading really affects the soul when we think about the beauty of humility, of faith, and selflessness. Now when we think of humility, we have the prototype, we have it in Christ. In every aspect of Christ's ministry and everything he gave to us, he showed us the prototype of love, of compassion and empathy. When taking on the form of a human, he came and lowered himself to us so that he could save us because he loves us. So then in our Lord's ministry, as we see throughout all of scripture, where did he go to? How did he go to these people? Did he go to the most popular, to the most prominent people of society? No, he went to the destitute, he went to the poor, he went to the lame, he went to those who were disenchantized, those who were disenfranchised as well too, and to see how that he can show his light into them and they can become light into this world. And again, in today's scripture reading, we see that so beautifully with our Lord going into Capernaum, and at this time, a centurion, now, what was a centurion? It was a Roman leader, soldier. Someone who had a throng of soldiers in his battalion, and he would tell them, go, and they would go, and they would do as he told. So just as our Lord, when we are obedient to him, we follow in his footsteps, so did the centurion. But what happened with the centurion? He was not a Jew. He was not someone who followed the law. He was not someone who understood everything that was written about the scriptures, about our Lord, and about the Messiah but he had faith. He trusted in this man known Jesus, and he came with humility. He came with repentance, and more importantly, he came with faith. Going and bowing down to this man, where in turn our Lord tells us, render to Caesar what is Caesar, and render to God what is God. This man separated that and recognized his lowliness in front of our true Savior and Messiah. So what does he say to our Lord? That Lord, that my, my servant is ill, and then our Lord says, let me go and heal him. But our Lord stops him. But then the centurion stops him and says to our Lord, yes, but you, if without your word, heal my servant, he will become well, just as I tell them to go and go and do and they do. And this blew and this and marveled our Lord to think about he never saw such a great faith in all of Judea, throughout all of the Jews, but to see it from a lowly Gentile, to see it from a centurion who was a pagan by trade, who had no understanding of Christ, nor to understand the wisdom, the light, and love of God. But in so many ways, that light shines in each and every one of us to recognize our true God with faith, with hope, and with love. So then we turn, get to be able to take the opportunity to listen to today's scripture, to ask ourselves, how too can I humble myself before the Lord so that I can serve others? How to that I can become selfless to help others, to greet them, to strengthen them, to support them, and to imitate my Lord in every aspect of the way that he gave to us. And then how can I become that light of faith, that light of hope, that light of strength into the world? Because that is what we are called to do, not only Orthodox Christians, but all human beings into the world. And that is the great challenge, that when we look to the centurion today, we must look and marvel at the beauty of his faith, but more importantly, to really analyze and understand my own humility. How can I self-reflect? Am I too boastful? Am I too prideful? Am I too good for myself that I'm not helping my brothers and sisters in Christ? Because in many instances in life, we always hear people say, I need a reality check. Or some will say, maybe they need a humble pill to swallow so they can bring down off the peg that they are. We must realize the beauty of our faith. We are so blessed to know that we have the true God, our Lord and Savior. Let us not hide this under a bushel, as the scriptures say, but to put it on a peak, to put it on a high mount, so that everyone can see his light. And it starts with me. It starts with us. And we now have the opportunity to imitate someone who has fallen, just like us. And that fallen person was the centurion. But in every manner, and in every way, and in every respect, our Lord, who is most merciful, who is most compassionate and most loving, always redeems those who turn to him. Let us take the opportunity to humble ourselves before the Lord. Let us turn ourselves back to the Lord 
And may we imitate that centurion that in times where we think we're great, we might be a leader, we might be a CEO, we might own a business, humble ourselves. Because who are the greatest leaders? Servant leaders who walk with their employees, who minister with those who are working with them. And they are not my workers, they are my co-laborers. We work together, we serve together, and we help together. So that appropriately, we honor our Lord, we glorify his holy name, and we too will be beacons of light, of faith and humility in a darkened world that needs it more so now than ever, and to his glory, to the ages of ages. Amen.